SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. Ah, uh, this game brings back the memories. So this game holds a special place in my heart, for it got me to start watching wrestling again. It got me into core, and also... I thought I had three points to make, turns out I just had- Oh, wait, no, never mind. This was the first wrestling game I actually played. I mean, I saw my uncle play Here Comes the Pain when it came out, like in 2003, but this was the first wrestling game I actually played. Remember what I said I wanted to do with SSX3? I love it so much that I want to take it on a date to a nice expensive restaurant, then sleep with it, and like after three years of dating, we get married and start a happy family. Yeah, take that, but add like 27 suplexes. So to my memory, I wasn't a big fan of WWE as a little, little boy, but I would watch it every now and again. Anyways, April 2009, I go to my friend Michael's place for his birthday. I played like SSX3 for 65% of the night I was there. Till my other friend Jimmy goes through Michael's brothers, whose name is Cameron's, games and finds SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. We pop it in the PS2, and lo and behold, the first thing that I paid attention to in that game was... Yeah, that's probably why the SmackDown Fist stage is one of my favorites. Anyway, game launches up, and my first match was John Cena versus Randy Orton. I was Cena because he was the only person I knew of in WWE, mainly because everyone in my intermediate school would fanboy over him. Speaking of which, my year 10 PE teacher kind of looked like John Cena. Everyone would ask him to do the You Can't See Me taunt, and I'm not sure if he was fucking with us or not, but it seemed like he didn't know how to do it. Back on track, I lost the match, mainly because I didn't know how to play the game, and that was that for about a month. Then I asked Cameron if I could borrow his copy of 2007, and he said yeah. I spent the next three months playing nothing but SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. Then I got SmackDown vs. Raw 2009, and to be honest, I didn't really like 2009. I preferred 2007, but yeah, like, after getting 2009, I started getting the WWE games as they released every year. The biggest letdowns during that time were WWE 12 and WWE 2K15, the 360 and PS3 version. I found 12 to be a letdown mainly because of the servers when it came to online matches and using cores that had paint tools. Hopefully someone remembers that dark time. Anyways, back to SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. I like the shit that this game had. I mean, the arenas were cool, mainly because of the SmackDown first stage. The roster, well, I actually didn't know who was active when the game came out in 2006 because I wasn't watching wrestling at that time. But in my opinion, seeing as like who's who nowadays on that roster, it was a decent selection. It was the last game to have Chris Benoit before, you know. The licensed songs that played the main menu were really kick-ass. I mean, it has my favorite Rise Against song. Also, unlike the WWE games of nowadays, you could use the licensed main menu songs as your cause theme. Also, I liked the locker room feature they had. I mean, I know they had it in 06, but in 07, I kind of liked it more. Mainly because you were able to roam around instead of just having it be like a static menu. This game made me start watching wrestling. Like, legit. It did. Granted, I played 07 in 2009, and I started watching WWE again in... 2010, nearing the end of the original Nexus thing. Smackdown vs. Raw 2007, my favorite WWE game ever made. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Sorry that this one was kind of short, but you know, the, what I wrote in there was pretty much all I could think about when it came to this. Uh, sorry there was no upload for quite a while, mainly just laziness and also the fact that I couldn't really find anything to make a video on like now but yeah please leave a like if you enjoyed uh consider subscribing if you haven't and also consider pledging on patreon if you you know you want me to make these videos more often please i need to hire an intern to do my editing for me i can't fucking do this shit anymore bye